Rattata. Rattata. Just ember all the things. Never stop embering until we get flame wheel. That is dark. Just try to defeat all of us. I could catch a slowpoke here if I wanted to. But... Learn quick attack. Oh, do we ditch smoke screen or tackle? I never use smoke screen for anything, but it would be really... Smoke screen would be really good against Miltank. Wait, no, I have Mud Slap. Mud Slap does that anyway. Ha! I don't even need smoke screen after Mud Slap. Wait, what'd she say? Slowpoke tails grow back fast. What's wrong with selling them? See, they're bad people, but the slowpokes do get their tails back, and I'm not 100% sure that it hurts them when you cut off their tails. If they just grow back like that. But they're keeping all the slowpoke over here, just in the corner. Quit taking slowpoke tails. If we obeyed you, Team Rocket's rep would be ruined. Like, why would they listen to a 10-year-old kid? And the answer to that is because the 10-year-old kid will push your shit in with his amazing Quilava. Go, Mr. Satan, go! The perks of only having one Pokemon is he levels up way too fucking fast. What do you want? If you interrupt our work, don't expect any mercy. Oh, a level 14 coughing. We're playing in the big leagues now, and he tackled me for three damage, and now he's dead. Okay. Dun 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 dun. So, well, that's because Slowpoke's derp, EJ. That's how Slowpoke is. <laughs> Team Rocket was broken up three years ago by some punk ass named T-Shot. This is a different T-Shot that I'm playing as now, though. I don't know, it's confusing. But we continued our activities underground. Now you can have fun watching us stir up trouble. <laughs> they just lost to a 10-year-old kid. Way to go, T-Shot. Team Rocket has taken off. My back's a little better, too. Yeah, you didn't carry shit, man. Let's get out of here. It's, I'm still reading it, Eki. I'm reading what I can. It's okay. Chat's fine. Uh, Team Rocket was ripping their tails off to sell them, Credo. They could sell Slowpoke tails, and then you can eat them, I guess. You, people were eating Slowpoke tails. That's gross. Hi, T-Shot. You handled yourself like a real hero at the well, where my clumsy ass fell down the goddamn stairs. I would be honored to make balls for a trainer like you. This is all I have now, but take it. Lure ball. I'm probably not going to catch anything off a of lure. Take the white apricorn. And then he comes back in a day. So what you could do if you have a bunch of apricorns and you're on the computer is I could just change my date to tomorrow. Get another one. Change my date to tomorrow. Get another one. Change my date to tomorrow. You know how it works. And if you leave and come back right away and he's not finished with your ball yet, he'll be working on it at his table over here. Listen to this music. Oh my god. I cannot get over it. I'm sorry. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. Do I have enough for charcoal? I think I find charcoal later. But charcoal is actually really, really worth it to buy it for cool lava because it ups his fire moves even more. And I'll take two antidotes. Oops, no. Give me that back. Seven repels, please. And... Five, super, or five potions. There we go. Am I going to get Tauros? Tauros can learn Surf? What the hell? <laughs> you better not be lying to that. Lying to me about that. That's nuts. Alright, let's go destroy this gym. Da -na 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 -da -da. Gotta fight the twins. Gotta destroy the twins. So there's a method to beating Miltank that I thought I was going to use, but I don't think I will now because I actually really like the moves I have on Quilava at this time. But when you beat uh, Bugsy here, you get the move Furry Cutter, or Fury Cutter. And Fury Cutter works a lot like Miltank's Rollout. Miltank's Rollout works in a way that um, uh, it, it escalates for five turns. Every turn that it hits, it gets stronger for five turns, then it stops. And then Furry Cutter, Fury Cutter works the same way, except it doesn't stop at five turns. It's just every single turn it gets stronger and stronger and stronger. So a method you could use to beat Whitney's Miltank is to use Fury Cutter on the first Pokemon, and if you survive the 
budsy. Anyways, if you survive the Clefairy, which you should, using Fury Cutter, then you'll be able to hit Miltank and kill Miltank in like two hits, is the idea behind that theory. I've never used that one myself, and I have a different approach I'm going to use. Oh, don't fast forward gym leader battles. Leader Bugsy wants to battle. No, my guy's blue. Oh wait, my guy's red? What? Did he change? I didn't even notice. What happened? Did I break something? Did I do a glitch I shouldn't have? Maybe it's just inside this building. Oh well, he got to be blue for a while. He lived a good life. He lived a good blue life. I didn't even notice though, that's nuts. Puberty just hit him, so he turned red. He is a Scyther. Scyther's a badass Pokemon. You have to head, but to get a hair across, that would be kind of cool. And you get headbutt near here while we burn him, too. See, Fury Cutter. Now, the first one sucks, but every time he hits that, it, like, doubles an attack, almost. Quick attack. And there we go. There was your second gym battle. These are gonna get more competitive, I swear to God. <laughs> you win. Take this badge. Hive badge. Now I have hives. I am red. That's so nuts. I wonder what I did to get it to go back to red. Well, that kind of sucks. I want to do the whole playthrough as a blue guy. Let's see if the exiting the building changed anything. No, we are just red. That sucks, man. I'm gonna try... Yeah, he got a tan. I'm gonna try saving and resetting and see if this changed anything. Nope, still red. Red for life. Well, damn. Kirk made me red when he took me in a slowpoke cave. Oh, that's a shitstorm. Oh, well. Let's battle this nerd. Team Rocket has returned. What? You beat them? Ha! Huh, quit lying. This dude's a tool. You're not joking? Then let's see how good you are. Dun, dun. Asshat wants to battle. Sorry. My exploit was acting weird. Anyways, Asshat sent out Ghastly, the floating fart man. Ghost. Alright, O code. Oh, I shouldn't fast forward these Croconauts. See, this is gonna be the real bitch of the battle. He winds up his arm like he's about to punch me. And he just evolved into a Croconaw. Uh, Quilava evolves at 14. I don't think Croconaw evolves until 16. And you might not get Chikorita's evolution until uh, 18. So I mud slapped him in hopes that he's going to start missing shots, which he already missed a water gun, which is good. Let's do one more mud slap. Yeah, most of you guys know my views on how I feel about Ash versus Red. He hit a water gun. This is bad. How do you get a sub button? You have to have... They want you to have around 500 viewers or be able to reach 500 viewers almost every single time you stream. Croconaw's 18. Bayleaf is 16. This battle is just weird. Let's see if uh, Ember actually hurt someone and could attack it. Damn, this sucks. We should still be fine. Oh, yeah, critical hit. Thanks. Good job with your critical hit there, pal. Don't hit or don't crit. I might live. I might live if he doesn't crit. I might live if he doesn't crit. Okay. Okay. We did it. 
proud of us. Fuck you, Croconaw. Also, he has one more Pokemon left. Oops. Zubat cannot hit us for 12 damage. I know this. So we're going to be fine. I was going to cheat and use a potion, but I won't. A level 14 Zubat cannot do 12 damage, does it? A level 50 Dragonite in Gen 1? Not that I know of. Oh, shit. Burn him! Burn him! No! 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 Okay, yeah. What did I tell you? Why would... Were you guys even worried? I know I wasn't. Oh, we hitting 4,000 followers today? Is that what this is? You only won because my Pokemon were weak. Well, that's because you suck as a trainer, so I mean... <laughs> Pokemon trainers, it doesn't matter who or what. I hate the weak. I'm gonna be strong and wipe my own ass. That goes for Team Rocket, too. They're also gonna wipe my ass. But get them alone, and they're weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way. A weakling like you who just beat him is only a distraction. Damn, I hate the fact that I'm red. I hate that. I want to be blue. Yeah, the well, huge difference between followers and streamers. I mean, see, because I've hit 500 viewers while streaming about four or five times ever. And that's not enough to get a sub button because I tried. <laughs> but they want it to be like about every time, every single time you stream, you get that many. But until that day... Um, aside from the lovely people who choose to donate, I do not make any money off live streaming you guys for Twitch. It is merely for my own enjoyment, which I do highly, highly enjoy, so there's that. So, I hope you guys are ready to, uh, start adding to our... I swear to God I didn't unmod you, Eki. It'll come back. Um, are you guys ready? Because as soon as we get through here, we might be adding some more people to our team. But before then... Let me take a selfie. No, I need to. I need to use a repel. Can Game Shark make me blue? Good point. I wish I could type in a cheat to make me blue. I would totally go back to being blue. Da ba dee da ba die. Each hand made the Pokemon stream. Okay, so Farfetch'd is going, and I think I have to talk him up there, and then we go around the outside like Eminem, and we'll get him. I'm not going to tell you guys what Pokemon I'm getting. You just have to find out for yourself. And I told you, I said it before, I don't know what, uh, I don't know what water Pokemon I want yet, but I want it to be like a late game water Pokemon. Alright, and then we're just walking back. Missing no, very funny. Celebi, I would love to catch a Celebi. How do you do that? <laughs> the rumor that has yet to be confirmed anywhere ever, so I'm not sure if it's true or not, is that if you manage to catch all 252 Pokemon in the game, uh, then Elm will give you a GS ball, which you can then go to a shrine that's just up here. And... Uh, from there... Celebi will show up. Now, here's the kicker. I don't think Hopip can learn Cut. Yeah, fuck. Okay, so now we have to go find a Pokemon that can learn Cut. I don't know what Pokemon can learn Cut around here. Hex, Hex, everybody. I don't think Rattata can learn Cut, and I kill him in one hit anyway. I don't think Geodude can learn Cut, but I'll catch him. Balls! Catch Arceus. Oh, very funny. I know Quilava can. I don't want to burn an HM on Quilava. We caught Geodude. Um... Um... Egg. I don't think he can learn cut, but we'll give it a shot. Nope. Next. I don't think anything I can catch here can learn cut. Yeah, I don't want to waste... I want an HM slave. I don't want to waste an entire move slot from Quilava to learn cut. Zubat can't, because Zubat's a fuck stain.
Hold on, I need to know who learns cut <laughs> around here, or where I can catch something that learns cut. Oh, I think, no, there's a Paris in the forest. There's a Paris in the forest. Not Caterpie. Not Caterpie. I'm gonna kill a Kakuna for experience, which isn't worth it. I need to perish, you farts. Rattata can learn it? Oh, no, you're kidding me. Hey, here we go. We're just gonna go straight to the balls. If you know what I mean. I should have caught a Rattata. I just assumed. Okay, we have our cutting machine now. So we're gonna call him... 